Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati young people alive time to act time to act when when why because we are the church really we are gathered here because we can see ahead that the responsibilities which are there for the church they belong to us and that's why we are trying to empower each other that's why we are trying to gather ourselves together and model ourselves so that we can be that good person that good woman that good man in the life which is awaiting for us when we will be people in charge of our churches in charge of our jumuiyas in charge of the life that will be trusted unto us and so by introduction my names are daniel chalo i come from machakos that is eastern part of our country and i'm a camelite just like my brother just like my brother who is a priest and camel is where we found our vocation we are myself and brother eugene approaching the ministries that the aconet and priesthood and we thank god if they come and i know they are coming soon continue praying for us father dennis saw it good through the work that you have seen the books good to reach to the young people and he ended up approaching the two of us so that we can accompany him and try to empower the young people who are you people who i also belong to the same category so that we can grow together to be that good person that good mana youth that good a uh, child at your own place and a good christian in the church and so i saw it will be well i talk about there is time for everything and that is my topic there is time for everything and if you allow me this i just picked it directly from the bible i will read a passage in the bible so that we can be on the same page i'm reading from Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 to 15 verse 1 to 15 that is chapter 3 and i read for everything there is a season a time for every matter under heaven a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted a time to kill and a time to heal a time to break down and a time to build up a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing a time to seek and a time to lose a time to keep and a time to cast away a time to rend and a time to sew a time to keep silence and a time to speak a time to love and a time to hate a time for war and a time for peace what gain has the worker from his toil i have seen the business that god has given to the sons of men to be busy with he has made everything beautiful in its place and its time also he has put enmity eternity into man's mind yet so that he can he cannot find out what god has done from the beginning to the end i know that there is nothing better for them than to be happy and enjoy themselves as long as they live also that it is god's gift to man that everyone should eat and drink and take pleasure in all his toil i know that whatever god does and to us forever nothing can be added to it nor anything taken from it god made it so in order that men should fear before him that which is already has been that which is to be already has been and god seeks what has been driven away when i read this and i reflected i thought we should talk 
about that there's time for everything. Many of times I'm speaking to the young people about time because we don't know where we are standing. If you agree with me, we are all in one way or another, except only our parents who are here with us, we are in the adolescent stage. And adolescent stage is one defined by confusion. It is just a time of confusion. We don't know where we belong fully. We don't know who we are fully. We don't know what we should become in future. Somebody will tell you, I want to become a pilot, and he's getting D in Form 1. It is a time that you are confused. You don't know what really you will become. You don't know what really you are, and you don't know who you are there before. And so it's a time we need to define well who we are. And that's why the Bible has just told us that there's time for everything. There's time to be in school, as you are. There's a time that you will be off school. There's a time you will be needed, you, you who are here, to impress your career. It is, will come a time that you will be required, you who are here, to become a parent. And so it is the right time today we think about who we are and the time we are in today. It is just from you who is seated here to rethink and see who am I today. I know here there are students. Declare yourself a student and do what a student should do. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because most of the time you will find a student of 13 years old who is behaving like a parent of 50 years old. You know what I'm saying. That uh, you find somebody who is confused. You are trying to do things which don't belong to your time. Let us reflect and see and recognize and realize who you are and the time that you are living in. And when you discover who you are and the time you are living in, then live as that time dictates you to live. And as I said, many of you here are students. Just be a student. I'm telling you, be a student. And if you live a student life, that other life will find you and will find you at the right time again and you are going to enjoy what you'll be doing. But the problem, we have confused ourselves to an extent that we are just there. We just bring ourselves and anybody, and as a Peter Narcissi, any time that he wants or she wants. Declare your grounds, declare your time, and live as per your time. And so this will come well in your life for you to know where you belong if you can trace back and see that you were in class four and now you are in class eight. You were in primary school, now you are in secondary. So you can be able to adjust your time according to your time. Allow me to keep repeating about time. And adjust your time and fit where you are. So see your past life. How have I lived since my childhood? How have I been with other people? How have I been with my parents? There's a time, guys. There's a time for us to obey our parents. It will reach a time we will be told now, sort your life. Go and build. Go and marry. But for now, as, as young people, we are called to obey our parents by all means. And they say, in obedience, there's no mistake. Obey your parents. Listen to them. And the parents in this, in, this, in this sense may be your biological parents. But again, your elders are also your parents. Just listen to them. When you come to church, when you go to school, your teachers, those who are ahead of you, treat them as your parents. Listen to them and you're going to build your future. Here we are talking about future. We are trying to see or we are trying to empower young people to be good people in near future. And this is what I always say, that 
as young people, we are all looking for our careers. And in a bigger sense, I would say, we are all looking for our vocation. But for me, the best vocation, the best vocation of all is being a good person. So that when you are a good person, because of judging and living your stages well, then even if you become a priest, like Father Dennis, you become a good priest. If you become a parent, then you become a good parent who is responsible. There are parents who are not responsible, we know. But majority of them, they are responsible. Join that club of those who are good. And so the best vocation for us to embrace is being good person. And that's what we are trying to empower you today. And wherever we will go, the three of us, as Carmelites, as a new program that Father is running of caring listeners, we will listen to your stories and try to grow you to be that good person, that good vocation to come out of you. And as I said, it will all depend on how you live today. It will all depend on how you judge your past life. If there's anything that you know last year and this year and the years past that you know they were not right, it is the high time for you to say enough is enough. Change, amend your ways and live as a good manner youth. Live as a good man of youth. And that will build you today to be in good friendship. What my brother said, with other people around you in the church, in school, and your parents. And that will make you even graduate to that other life of being responsible parent, of being responsible uh, in whatever vocation you will land in and will live a good life. So judge your past. Judge your past. Judge your past with the clear mind that, aha, this is who I have been. But now, at this stage, let me live this stage as I am expected to live. And again, that now draws me to today's life, the present stage that you are in. As I have kept repeating, you are, many of you maybe as, uh, as students, many of you maybe you have just finished school and you are thinking what next. At this time, now, after seeing your past, today, mark your books. Mark your books and say, I am doing well in church. See your life in the church, how you participate. How you participate in the church. Do you go to church regularly as it is required of you? And the, the, the laws of the church? Do you, do you again uh, live good life at home as a young person with your parents, with those who are elders in your home, with your brothers and sisters, those who are young and small? That is trying to see your today's life. And that's what we are talking about, time for everything. Time for everything. Then mark your books and say, yeah, I've not been in good books with my parents. Then today, let it be a time for you to amend your ways and try now to start listening to them and following the directions that they point out for you. If you have been fighting with your brothers and sisters at home, this is the high time to mark your books and say, aha, I've not been in good books with my brothers, with my sisters. It is the high time for me now to realize that I'm called to live in harmony and in peace with them. Then amend your ways and live as a young person, as an elder, as wherever you belong in your family and live that life. But as I speak about this also, it is a high time, as you think about the past and the present, it is, about for you, it is a time for you also to plan about your future. It is a time to plan about your future. And somebody said that uh, failure to plan, failure to plan is planning to fail. And it, if you fail to plan about your future today as young people, think about who you want to become, Think about the levels you want to be in life. Then, my brother, my sister, you are going to fail in life. 
Start planning. We have young people here who don't know yet what they want to become in future. Plan it now. Those who are in primary school, think about, I want to become a teacher. Get to know the qualifications of teachers in terms of grade in secondary school. Then work for it. If you want to become a doctor to save our lives like this time of corona, think about what grade do doctors need for me? Which grade do I need for me to enroll in university to become a doctor? Think about it today. Work for it today so that you can acquire it in future. And so it's all about the time. It's all about the time. It's all about the time. And now we are living in the present time, focusing on the future to come. My brothers, have your grounds today. Decide who you want to become and live as a teacher, if you want to become a teacher. If you want to become a priest or sister, this is the high time, as a, the high time to think about future, to think about your life, and you plan it today. Failure to plan is planning to fail. My brothers and sisters, let us plan to succeed in life. Let us plan to succeed in life. As I talk about time and what should be done in those times, I also thought there are things that they don't fall in any time. There are things that don't fall in any time. One of them is drug abuse. Drug abuse, we can't stretch our life and say that when you are 25, it is your high time to start drinking until the other drugs like alcohol, also bad, it's bad news. They break families, they break homes, they break marriages, they, they cause school dropout, name it, name it. There's also tobacco that when I was growing up, I knew tobacco is only for the old show shows. But nowadays, it's being taken by you and me, people of our age. It's just evil. It's just evil. Talk of bang. Bang and the effect of bang. But now, it's like it's the common thing with us. Talk of um, uh, cocaine. Talk of uh, madras and all those other had hard drugs and the effects that they cause on us. The effects in our bodies and in our lives, one is they damage our brain and other parts of our body. They damage, drugs damage our brain and other parts of our body. Those people who get into drugs at your age, and you know them. Maybe they're not here. Maybe some are here. They just go low. Their memory operation is no longer the same. Their brain is no longer the same. There's a way that they just, they are low. They are low in thinking. They are low in remembering things. And so it damages our brain. Let us stop drug abuse, my brothers and sisters. Kitambo, we knew that men, all boys, all young men, are the people who we are going to get them drunk in bars, wherever. But now, to my surprise and to the surprise of many, girls have joined the men to abuse the drugs to another level. Let us spare our brains. Let us spare our brains and stop that. Another effect, the second effect of drugs in our body, and as I have said, drugs, they don't belong in any time in our lifespan. They don't belong. Is they also cause poor performance in our academics. Somebody who is in drugs, performance is just kaput. Utapatanga do D. Now ki improve sana, unapata E. You get me? Because drugs make you even go reverse. So, <laughs> From D, you improve to E. <laughs> That's improvement. Drugs spoil a person who was good. Let us stop drugs. I say this. Let us stop abusing drugs. For us 
to be well with our brains and our IQ, and again, to be able to perform well in academics. And again, it is only through drugs bad behavior come to our morals. It is only through drugs. If I get into drugs, then I can't talk well. I can't behave well. Everything is in question. Because even when in drugs, when I'm saying bad behavior, you can't even listen to your parents. Not only listening, you cannot even obey them. Drugs are killing us. It is the high time to empower ourselves by first leaving drugs aside. And know that there's no time in the, in the month's span of life that we can say it is the high time for us to abuse drugs. There's no time. Kama unataka kukunya dawa, eh? Kunyo pana dawa, katu na na kicho. It will be better. It will be better. But when you talk of alcohol, when you talk of mira, when you talk of bang, when you talk of tobacco, just avoid for your good future, for your good life. Another effect and the fourth effect of drug abuse in our life is poor reproduction. Poor reproduction. Let me talk about this. Even if you are young, you know that it is from this age if you want to be productive. And one of, the, one of the tasks that God gave us is the task of procreation. Co-creating with God. It is through our parents cooperating with God that we are alive. Co-creation. Procreation. But nowadays, with our today's life, that gift we are stepping on it. A good example of how our reproductive system can be affected by drugs, one is what you are saying, that is the commonly drug abused in your area here, in Subukia, together with where I come from. And Mira, the worst thing that it does. So it is, it is the time to think about the future life the marriage life that is awaiting for us and preserve that gift today. We don't need to destroy it. Mira will kill our productive system in us, especially for men. Mira even gets into the gene of person. Tells that even if you give birth, the child has the effect of Mira that you should 20 years ago. That's Mira. Mira is so bad when it comes. And that's why you are seeing today the marriages are not working. Because you will not tell me, you will not tell me that somebody will come to your home, you marry, and he comes and lives with you as if you are the brother. No. It will not work. And so for us to save our life, for, for us to plan about the future, we just have to stop drug abuse. You look well, the people who are chewing Mira. Those who survive, there are very few with their families. And that is the one cause. Talk of bang. Many people in the markets who are mad, some say they have been bewitched. But I tell you, even if there are those who have been bewitched, the biggest number, the biggest percentage is caused by bang. And that's why we have mad people in the market. If you want to be mad, and remove your clothes, smoke bank, smoke bank. But if you want to be good people who are responsible, good people who have good future, avoid all this, avoid all this. It is through drugs also, as another effect, the fifth one, we also get diseases. Talk of TB, it is from smoking, these things, tobacco, bank, and other things. So it's, it's, it's the high time for us to leave drugs so as to avoid doctors, to avoid diseases. It is through drugs that we get diseases. Also, drugs has caused us also accidents. Hata mtu wa baiskeli tu, kama umelewa, kama umelewa na unandesha baiskeli, in your busy roads, you are going to have accidents. Be sober-minded and let us avoid also accidents by avoiding 
drugs uh, how to avoid how to avoid how to avoid drug abuse how to avoid drug abuse point number 1 how to avoid drug abuse try to be engaged with productive work try to be engaged as young people how to avoid drugs try to be engaged and one engagement is making sure that you are having duties where you come from your own place be busy wash utensils be busy huku kwani naona kuko na ngombe na mbuzi fungulia mbuzi and be a responsible young person from where you come from be responsible if there are girls around here make sure you you are you are there to cook for us and my brother help your sister in cooking get yourself busy and above all getting engaged you have your books you are in school many of you revise revise and this revision will not only make you avoid drugs it will not make you only get engaged it will make you also pass in your academics and once you pass my brothers and sisters to pass in school it is a mark of success in your life to pass in school getting a good grade it's a mark of a better life to come build your life that life will build others also because when you are successful others are also going to get successful through your words through holding them hands and being with them the second way to avoid drug abuse is listen to advices listen to advices listen just to your parents listen to your spiritual father the fathers in the church i know our priest here they always like na father mose they always tell you people behave behave listen to them listen to them you may not see the advantage today but in your life when you will be successful you will say they help me while in this idea while in this idea also when you fall in the ditch when you are not successful when you are languishing in poverty and uh, misery you will say i wish nilisikiza wazazi wangu i wish nilisikiza walimu wangu i wish nilisikiza akina father and all those spiritual people who came across my life so listen to advices the third thing to do to avoid drug abuse also avoid bad company my brother eugene he has spent his time trying to explain to you how to live and how to be with friends but one outstanding thing is that he is saying a good friend find a good friend even gave how a good friend looks like loyal person i don't know what you i, I mean let us have good company if you find yourself you are living with a company that is not right move away from that company it is not taking you to success it is not taking you to good life and so peer pressure also has led us to get into drugs avoid that find look and choose good company choose good company for your life most of the time we are we are bad we are drug abusers not because we have decided but because we have been pulled by our friends find good friends if you know a guy who is in this drug abuse and he is your friend tell him the truth tell her the truth and if the person cannot change then you yourself change for the better leave that person leave his behavior and live a good life we are all mature we are all at the age of reasoning you can reason out what is good you can reason out what is bad and do only what is good you can listen the two but at least do what is good and that that you do which is good then it will propel you it will make you reach to success in uh, its way uh the fourth point on how to avoid drug abuse also is to be firm in saying no to that which is bad being firm to saying no to that which is bad uh, you know there are people who are just there they don't know nichukue nichukue reli aina gani 
nichukue njia gani uko kwa njia panda be farmer no this is the right thing go by that way i give you the people who don't know how to say no there are people who just don't know how to say no they will just find themselves in the bad company because they want to relate with them they want to please them don't please anyone on the expense of your life it is a disease that one of the effects that will kill you it is the bad company and bad behavior that will make you not reach to success so be firm to say no to that which is bad and be firm to say yes to that which is good so being firm in your decisions through the advices through the good company you have through the productive work and engagement that you having then be firm in making decisions be firm in making decisions and that will make you uh, be able to step forward to the next life to the next level of your life my brothers my sisters let us embrace that i have a second thing to talk about now i have said drug abuse they don't really belong to any time in our span of life another thing that also has made us also waver because of our adolescence level is misuse of our sexuality i thought it would be good also we talk about that just to highlight them just to highlight them and as i pick that second part of my talk i would also request at the end of uh, of my presentation if you have any question as early as now you can start writing a paper and then we will read here nobody will know where it comes from and then we try to answer as early as now i'm just saying it so that you prepare even your question if you have or any comment uh, as i say another way we move or that makes us not be able to stand with our decision that makes us not be able to live our today's life our today's time well is the misuse of our sexuality one thing we need to realize is that we are sexual beings and sexuality is a positive thing on our life it helps us sexuality helps us relate with other people of both genders it is through our sexual drives that i'm able to relate with my brothers and my sisters even at home i see the need of relating but again we have the deviation of sexuality we have those off ways of sexuality from the positive we go the negative way and as the bible told us that there's time to love there's time to love i think i would say boldly majority of us who are students here this is not the right time to love because sexuality has made us think of love think that i need a boyfriend think that i need a girlfriend this is not the right time for you to have a girlfriend this is not the right time for you to have a boyfriend maybe some maybe not all those who are looking for courtship and they are among us i would think of that but let it be a pure love but majority who are students this is not the time to love this is a time for us to study and study and study alone so that it is from this time when we build it well then there will come a time for us to love and that is the time we will be looking for a love for a life partner but i am sure this is not the time for many of us and that's why i'm saying there's a deviation that's why we find ourselves we are being cheated that somebody loves us but even if he loves us genuinely this is not the right time for you to be loved and it is your high time also to be firm on saying no this is not the right time for me to love and so allow me to do my studies allow me to get a line of my career and now we can talk about love issues later later so you tell the person hold your horses i want first to achieve this and that in my life be firm in saying no to what 
should be no. And wait for the right time. Wait for the right time. Uh, some of the deviation that we have in today's life when it comes to sexual issues is fake love. I would call it fake love. If at your age you are in second school and somebody is telling you that he loves you, that's a fake love. It may appear as if it's a true love. And I'm saying it may appear to be a true love, but it is not. It is a fake love. Build your future today and avoid fake love. Somebody who tells you, I love you because you are beautiful, I love you because you smile well, I love you because of... It's a fake one. I'm telling you, it's a fake one. And if you fall for it, you will later start crying. That mutu alikuat break, that mutu alikufanya. Why are you saying this? You, another thing, due to our age, what has caught our life is pornography. Those are the deviation of sexuality. Pornography. Somebody will watch pornography from eight after supper all the way to two to three. What are you doing to yourself? And from that, then it will get you into another deviation because of watching pornography to masturbation. That is not the way to do sex. My brothers and sisters, let us do the right thing at the right time. This is not the time. Let us wait for the right time. Sex is not like food that you will die without. You will live and even be more healthier. Let us embrace the time that we are living in. Let us recognize that we are students and avoid all this. And let us wait for the time to love, which is not yet. Another effect of, me, of pornography, they say, and it is true, it has been proven scientifically, that pornography makes your brain shrink. Shrink. Yani, kama ilikuwa size inapungua. And so also your thinking is impaired. That's scientifically proven. If you are a guy who will always be on your pornography material, books, and in internet, believe you me, after a year or two, your thinking capacity is not the same. Your memory, remembering things, is not the same. It tampers with your brain. The best way to live, avoid. The best way to live, live your life today as it is expected of you. We know engaging in sex between those people who are not married is fornication. It is also a sin. Let us also avoid. It is not the right way. It is not your time to have all that. It is your time to be a student. It is your time to be a child in your home. It is a time to be a youth or belong to the PMC in the church. It is not a time for that. That time will come. Just wait. Just wait. And some of the effects to all this that I have said is low esteem. Low esteem. Effects of all that I have said about deviation in sexuality is so low self esteem. Utapatana atuna kamutu kakitoa kufanya madhambi yake hata haezi angalia mtu kwa macho akotuza hivi. Why low esteem? Ukimwambia simame mbele ya watu aongee or even to, to, to pray for us as we begin, akoshae. Because he or she thinks that everybody knows what I did. When you practice what is not right at your time, at your age, then definitely you will think everybody knows and that lowers your self-esteem. Let us boost our self-esteem by doing the right thing at the right time. Also, the second effect is feeling guilty. There are people who are always guilty. They think I'm not the right person. They think I'm not saying the right thing. They think that I, I, I'm not fit. Why? Because of your misconduct in sexual issues. Let us also kill that guilt part in our hearts by avoiding all that. Loss of trust is the third effect. Loss of trust. There are people who can't trust each other. There are people who can't trust each other. Why? They can't even trust the opposite sex. Because they had some mis, I would say, misuse of their 
sexual energy and their sexual drive. And so you, you feel, because uh, most of the time, when you engage in this early, early fake love, you walk out of it saying I was hurt, saying I was at broken. And so, unasikia kamutu kana sema I'm at broken at 19 years. And the time will come at your 25 to 30 where you will need somebody to trust and to love you. But now you cannot trust anyone because somebody broke your heart when you are too young. It is the high time to avoid all that so that when time comes for you to love, then you will love the right person and love the right time. The right time. So, loss of trust. We may lose our trust to people around us because of misuse of our sexual energy and our sexual drive. Another thing is that uh, when we engage in all this, we easily become, we easily become abusers. abusers. If, if at your early age, at your young age, somebody abused you sexually, where you gave in at the beginning. That's what I'm trying to say, let your no be no. Let your yes be yes. If somebody misused you because you gave in, later in life, you may see it just normal to go misusing others. And so you become abuser also. You were abused, you become abuser. And so it is the high time to see all this and avoid all that by waiting for the right time. I insist the right time is not yet. It's not yet. And so, uh, as we add from that chapter 3, verse 11, it will say that God has set time for everything. Let us wait for that time. He has made everything beautiful in its place. God has made everything beautiful in its place. When we do that thing out of its place, it's no longer beautiful. God made it beautiful for you to study at this age, the right time, the right time. God made engagement time to be the beautiful time when you are engaging with the right age. Not at 16, not at 12, not at 10. Let us first clear our confusion of adolescence, then go ahead to embrace career, to embrace love, to embrace what next. And again, drug abuse also doesn't belong to any time. Doesn't belong to any time. Let us avoid. As I finish, I would also say, in all this adolescence life, in all this about trying to structure our present life and what we are supposed to do at the present time, it is a struggle. Not to you, but to everybody. It is a struggle. And what we need, we need God to help us. We need God to help us. And that's why I will urge you, I will urge you as a Carmelite, I treasure, and as a Carmelite we treasure prayer. I would urge you to be people of prayer. Great time to pray, my brothers and sisters. Great time to pray. That time that we said you can engage in productive work, one of those works can be prayer. Say a rosary. Pray for your parents. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Pray for your life, for your future life at this time. And so in this struggle to avoid drugs, in this struggle to avoid sexual misconducts, let us do all this through prayer. It is through prayer that God will talk to us. It is through prayer that we are going to talk to God. Somebody said this. That is Teresa of Avila. She is, a, she is a Carmelite. She said that uh, prayer is talking to the one that we know that loves us, and that is God. God loves us. And if we are convinced that God loves us, let us keep that connection with him through prayer. John of the cross, also a Carmelite, will also say that prayer is forgetting the creation and remembering the creator. Let us create time. We, we are every time looking. We are every time relating with the creation, what God created. Let us also create time apart 
to think about the creator who made and created everything, me and you and all that we have and all that we experience. And it is through this then we build up to be good people. It is through this we build up and we get empowered as young people to approach life with positivity. Because we know the time we are living in and we know what we are supposed to do at that time. Many times I know you are excited when you hear, let us go for a party. Let us go for a bash. I want you also in your life to also think about creating life or time to go and make a prayer. Think of just creating time. Go to the church, pray. How many of us here, this year, have not stepped their foot on top of the mountain where everybody in Kenya comes, the national shrine, to pray? I know there are many. And this is your area. Mutu wajenda pale subukia mulimani. Kuamba. You are still waiting for the chairman to arrange for a youth prayer day up there. You can make your day. You alone. Even as a family, go to pray. As you create time for party, create time for prayer. Let us struggle. And not just a struggle. When we incorporate prayer, everything becomes easy. God shows way day in, day out. Thank you for listening to me. And maybe I would welcome any question that you have. We share together. And what I can answer, I will answer. What my brothers can respond, will respond. If you have any you have written, or any that you can raise your hand, please do. And we clarify issues. Asante. God is good. And all the time. I'm Rusu Irimo. Today I have run a road. Mejua kuwa, kuwa tunapotea kwa sababu kutojielewa ndiyo kunafanya tupotea. And today, mimi kwangu ni mejijua. Then, nita change. I will change a lot because I have get so many things, so many advice from my, let me call them my fathers. And I know that I will change and God will bless everyone. Kwa sababu me participate for this seminar. Si kwa sababu murikosa kazi manyumbani. Ni kwa kwa mulijitolea. That's why I'm Koapa and God at our bariki. Nam change from today, I know. Mta change Zaidi nam takua wana youth wazuri. Takua wazuri na mungu wa bariki. God is. Mungu ni mwema. Kila wakati. Kwa majina na ito mati ni waweru. Kutoka St. Max. Kwa kagoshi. Na siku ya reo ni kona furaha sana. Kufika hapa parokia. Kusoma. Na mapadri ambao wamejitorea. Kuja kutufunza jinsi vijana tunafaa kuwa tunaka. Na venye nilitoka rewa subui. Na venye nitaenda nyumbani. Si takuwa hivo. Takuwa ni meran something. Ambao itanisaidia katika maisha. Kwa wenye wamekuja siku ya leo, make sure kaa kuna rafiki yako manya kufika, mefikisha uwe ujumbe, ili yata yeye, mkue on the same boat. Tumisifu Yesu Kristo. Santeni. Tumisifu Yesu Kristo. Tumisifu tena. Kwangu ni furaha nyingi sana kwa sababu ya wageni wetu. Padri na brothers wale wamekuja kutusaidia siku ya leo. Kujaribu kuwaonyesha vijana wetu njia ya kuishi maisha yao ya kila siku katika dunia hii na wakati ujao wa maisha yao ya badai. Kwa wakati mwingi mimi kama maton ni mesafu kama miaka sita hapa katika parokia hii ya St. John's hapa Subukia. Na hatuja wahi pata na fasi mzuri sana kama ya leo tumekuwa na semina kadha wa kadha mwisho wa mwaka kila mwaka lakini hatujapatana na wale watu wametupatia maisha ya vijana kama siku ya leo kwa sababu tukiingia katika biblia huwa tunahubiriwa kila wakati kila siku lakini maisha yetu ni lazima tuambiwe vile iko kwa sababu katika wakati huu 
maisha ya vijana imeendelea kuwa mbaya lakini siku ya leo tumejua ni kwa sababu gani ya kwanza nimesikia ni kwa sababu vijana wetu hawajijui vijana wetu wanatembea na marafiki ambao hawajui vijana wetu wanatembea na marafiki ambao hawana haja na wao watawaelekeza wapi kwa sababu tumesikia siku ya leo rafiki mzuri ni mwenye anakujali mwenye anakuelekeza ma mahali pazuri mwenye anatembea na wewe wakati wa shida na, na wa furaha nimefurahi siku ya leo kwa sababu hayo yote tumepata na vijana wetu watakuja kubadili maisha yao jambo moja tu ningependa kurudia na ni huwa narudia kila siku ni kwa sababu vijana huwa wanaiga mienendo ya, ya wenzao wakati wanatembea huko hata kanisani wanaigana kuiga mwenzake lakini siku ya leo mtu amesikia yeye ni mwenye yeye ni yeye si ndio msiige watu wengine na haujazaliwa kama mwingine na haujaubwa kama mwingine na hauna kipawa kama cha mwingine Siku ya leo nimefurahi sana kwa sababu kutoka sasa tutaendelea kumuvo na nyinyi ili tujue kama vile tumeendelea na kufunzwa tutafuatilia na furaha yangu ni kila wakati wakati tunatembea na nyinyi vijana huwa na mwito wangu ni mkuu watoto wazuri maisha yenu ya baadaye iwe mzuri ili hata sisi wazazi tuwe na furaha kwa sababu mkiwa na maisha mbaya wazazi hata hao si watakuwa wata, si ninawaambia kila waz, wakati mtoto mwenye tabia mbaya anaua mama yake ama baba yake mdogo mdogo si ndio kwa sababu katika ile ma, mambo ya kufikiria unakuta wazazi wako na shida ya mwili kama blood pressure kwa vile amefikiria sana kwa sababu wakati tuna, tu, tu, tuko na watoto tumebarikiwa watoto tunawalea vizuri wanafika mahali wanarudi chini wanatuaibisha katika maisha ya Ukristo. Na ninafuraha siku ya leo kwa sababu wamejua na watajijua wao ni akina nani. Sina budi kusema ni asanti sana na karibuni tena. Tutawakaribisha tu huwa tuna wa vijana more than 100 katika kikao hiki. Lakini kwa sababu ya corona tumepotua tuna youth mass, tuna sports tuna michezo yoyote kila kila parokia huwa tuna tunakuja pamoja kama parokia na tuna huzika katika kila kitu na tunakuwa wazuri sana kwa hivyo kwa niaba yenu na baba paroko ninawashukuru sana kwa sababu kaa si yeye hatungejua kama kuna kitu kama nyinyi na sasa kuanzia leo kwa sababu wengine wamebarikiwa na, na, na simu watatusaidia kuelekea katika channel yenu huwa tunafuatilia wengine hawana lakini wengine wako nazo wale wako nazo watatusaidia ili tuweze kufuatana na nyinyi na tunawakaribisha tena sana hata kama ningeulizwa mimi mngekuja next month ili tufuatilie vijana wetu kabla shule zienu waende mashureni wae wakijijua wao ni akina nani katika maisha yao katika kumalisa shule na kwenda kutafuta kazi wajue wao ni akina nani lakini mtatuelekeza tu kwa sababu nyinyi ndio welekezi na tutafurahia sana na ninasema tena asanti sana na Mungu awabariki